This is the daily devotion for Wednesday, September the 16th. I am Pastor Dave Brighton, and uh, today we're going to learn an important Greek word, and that word is meno. Meno. It means to remain, to stay, to abide. One of my mom's favorite hymns is Abide With Me. Abide with me, fast falls the eventide. The darkness deepens, Lord, with me abide. When other helpers fail and comforts flee, help of the helpless, oh, abide with me. What comfort that gave me as a young boy when we had our family devotions after supper at the dining room table and the candle was shining there on the, at the table and the sky was growing dark into evening. Help of the helpless. Oh, abide with me. What comfort that gave me. These last couple of days, we've been talking about how God wants to abide with us, how he comes to us, comes after us, loves us with an everlasting love. Today, we're going to turn that around to the other side of the relationship and talk about how we stay uh, connected to him, how we abide in our God, abide in Jesus. Our scripture reading is from John chapter 15. And uh, I want to read you the first uh, 10 verses of John chapter 15. And as I read, tell me if you can count how many times in, in these verses Jesus uses the word meno, remain, or abide. I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. Already you are clean because of the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abides in me, and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit. For apart from me you can do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, he is thrown away like a branch and withers, and the branches are gathered, thrown into the fire, and burned. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. By this my Father is glorified that you bear much fruit, and so prove to be my disciples. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. Did you count them? Ten times, ten times in ten verses, Jesus uses that word meno, to abide, abide in him. Think about it. Think about the illustration he uses, that branch. How important is it for that branch to abide in that vine, to be connected to that vine? I mean, it's life itself, right? Apart from the vine, that branch can't bear any fruit. Apart from the vine, that branch will wither and die. So, how do we stay connected to the vine? That's life, right? To abide in Jesus. It's simple, really. We read and study his word for one thing, right? We, I, I really like a, a daily devotion in the morning, so that all day it can kind of be percolating in our mind. And when we say we're going to read, you know, the Bible, that doesn't mean we just, you know, like a cursory reading, like we look at a magazine or look at somebody's Facebook page. It means we read, mark, learn, and inwardly digest God's word, as an old Lutheran prayer says. That daily time with God, you know, where we, we read and we just, we meditate a little bit, talk to him in prayer, that daily devotion is so important as we abide in Jesus and then being in worship and singing his praises, hearing his word proclaimed, you know, prayers going up again, that's abiding in Jesus. And Jesus says that if we um, abide in him, he'll abide in us. He says, if we follow his commands, we will bear much fruit. And if we bear much fruit, he says, our Father in heaven is glorified, and we show ourselves, we prove ourselves to be his disciples because we're going to go out, right, and, and share that, that love and, and, 
and, and peace and, and forgiveness and care and, and, and serve in Jesus' name. So you want to know the secret to a joy-filled life? Abide in Jesus. He'll abide in you. And you will grow and you will thrive and you will bear much fruit. Jesus concludes this whole section by saying in verse 11, these things I have told you, that is about the vine and the branches and abiding in him. These things I have told you that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be full. Abide in Jesus. He will abide in you. Your joy will be full. Your joy will be complete. Would you pray with me? Hold thou thy cross before my closing eyes. Shine through the gloom and point me to the skies. Heaven mor heaven's morning breaks and earth's vain shadows flee. In life, in death, O Lord, abide with me. Amen. God bless your day.